Hey guys, John Wise here with Comageddon, and today I am going to go over a review of the Funko Pop Television Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, number 375. Let's get to it. Okay guys, so here we have Elvira uh, in her first Funko Pop form. Funko just released a uh, new Halloween themed where she's dressed as a, uh, a mummy. Uh, I don't have my hands on that one yet, but I do have my hands on this particular one here, which is the first one, so we're going to go ahead and go over it. Um, for those not to know, Elvira is known as the Mistress of the Dark. She is uh, a horror host who's been on TV since uh, and movies since the uh, 80s. Uh, middle ladies and um, she's known for uh, many things uh, puns and uh, really big comedic puns so let's go ahead and take a look at the box art here first so I'll pull this a little closer Whoop. all right so here uh, we have the package we have the image of the Funko on the side we have the Funko inside in this big window here. Of course, we have the logo, Elvira, Mr. the Dark, along with the number 375. We have the name, and we know this is a vinyl figure, not a bobblehead. So if we turn it over to the side here, we'll get another headshot and a um, side shot, along with the name. Over here, we get a full body view uh, of what the uh, Funko Pop looks like. Nice little art backdrop in the background there. And of course we have the Mistress of the Dark herself. A photo of Elvira. Uh, along with her awesome hairdo. Signature dress. Um, I'm going to come I'm gonna come out and say the obvious. She's hilarious. Um, I've met, had a chance to meet her in person. I wish I owned this at the time I met her. Because I definitely would have had her signed it. Um, just, you know, kind of Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, or something like that. That would have been really cool. But, you know, didn't have it at the time. And that was a few years ago. I think it was about five years ago by at this point. So, a really cool box, but let's go ahead and open her up and see how it uh, looks on the, uh, on the uh, outside. Alright guys, and there she is, Elvira out of the box. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, like your typical vinyl figures, her head does move very, very slightly. Um, her hair kind of gets in the way, um, but it's still pretty cool. The detail on this, the paint job is amazing on this. Uh, we have the painted lips here. Uh, we have our signature little dark hair. We got some eye shadowing going on there. But it's the other details that we really want to pay attention to. Like the dagger. That's her signature dagger right here. Uh, it's really cool. We have her ring. Now the ring is significant. Um, for those who... It's really hard to get a good light on here. For those who haven't seen the movie, uh, Elvira Mrs. the Dark, the ring is a magical ring that gives her the wearer powers. Like witch powers. So, uh, the, we do have her signature stockings there, her shoes, uh, turned around her long flowing hair, which is always huge, um, nice and flat here at the bottom, so there was no problem standing her whatsoever. If you can tell, she stands just fine, no problem. Um, alright, well there we have our Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, Funko Pop. To my knowledge, these are still available. You can get them online. Uh, I happen to find mine at a Toys R Us. So, good hunting, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to Comageddon. Please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment below. Happy Halloween.
I'm pissed. I don't want to open this up. I really don't. All right, don't fucking rip the goddamn box. I'm fucking pissed. I'm not opening up another one.